Good day. In this video, we're going to explain these two flow diagrams to you and explain to you how you can work forward and backwards on both of them and how they differ. In this flow diagram, they told us we have to add 2 to each one of these numbers and get an answer. Take those answers, times it by 4 and get the final answers of each. In this one, they just said we had to take these numbers and plus 2 to it and times 4 to it. So here, bot maths will kick in. In the first diagram, they gave us these numbers. They asked us to plus 2 to each, then times it by 4 and get the final answer for each number. So we take the 1, we plus 2 to it, then we get 3, we take this 3 and we times it by 4 to get this answer, which is 12. You do not have to write this number. Next, we take the 3, we plus 2 to it, get an answer. 5, take the 5 and times it by 4 to get its final answer, which is 20. Take the third one, 10, we plus 2 to it, we get 12, we times that by 4, and that gives you 48. Last one, 25, plus 2 to it, gives you 27, times that by 4, that gives you 108. And sometimes you might have to need to do another little calculation somewhere just to get to this answer if the numbers are too big. And sometimes you need to work backwards. They might ask you to work out what the original numbers were, which you took and plus 2 to, then times 4 to it to get the 12. What we will do is we will work backwards now and do the inverse operations. We'll take this 12, divide it by 4 and get this answer, which is 3. Then we'll do the inverse operation of plus 2, I will minus 2 to get the original answer, which is 1. Then we take the 20. Do the inverse operation of times, which is divide. We take 20 divide by 4 to get this answer, which is 5. Do the inverse of plus 2, which is minus 2, to get this answer. So 5 minus 2 gives us 3. Then we take the 48, divided by 4, get 12, and then minus 2 from it gives us 10. Last one of this diagram. Take 108 divided by 4 gives us 27 and then minus 2 from it. That gives us 25. And like I said, you might have to do a little extra sum on the side here if you have trouble dividing the 4 into that big number. Please stop the video and make sure that you understand how to work forward and backwards on this flow diagram. In this flow diagram, they told us what to do, but didn't tell us what to do first. So, bot maths will kick in. They told us to take this number, plus 2 to it, and times it by 4. But bot maths says we must do the times first, and then plus the 2. So, 1 times 4 gives us 4, and then 4 plus 2 will give us 6. Then we take the 3, bot maths says we times first, 3 times 4. Gives us 12, and then 12 plus 2 gives us 14. Next we take the 10, we have to plus 2 and times 4. We first going to times 4, 10 times 4 is 40, and then 40 plus 2 gives us the answer. 42, last one, 25 times 4 gives us 100, 100 plus 2 gives us 102. Could have left these numbers out but you decide how much you want to write or don't want to write this last part of the video is not for the faint of heart but it will help you later in your life if you have to solve equations after grade 7 so try and understand how this works don't get confused by my first sentence this diagram is asking what was the number that i had over here that i plus 2 to then times 4 to get to 6 but because there is no break here, I must know that I had to times the 4 first, then add the 2, and then got the 6. So I will first take the 6, minus the 2, get the 4, and then divide by 4 to get this answer. So we're going backwards on bot mass. If you don't understand, just stop the video and don't look any further. 
Next, we take the 14. We minus 2. We get 12. And then we divide by 4 to get this answer, which is 3. Now we take the 42. We minus 2 from it. We get 40. Then we divide by 4 to get 10. Last calculation of this video. We take the 102. We minus 2 from it. Get 100. And we divide by 4 to get the 25. Please stop the video and try and see how this flow diagram works forward and backwards. If you don't understand, don't break your speed with this. So understand the difference here. On the first flow diagram, they broke this plus 2 loose from the times 4. So we first had to do this, then this, and got the answer. Here they did not break them loose, so bot maths kicked in, and we had to apply that. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you do run into a school mathematical problem that you have trouble solving, you may send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number, and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. We will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy mathematics.